Alright, hello everyone. Uh, today we'll be playing One Use Story in Dark Warrior 6. Uh, real quick, my power went out like 15 minutes before starting the stream. I am really hoping it doesn't happen again. Uh, if it does, I'll try and get it back up as soon as possible. At the end of the second century, the Han Dynasty was approaching the twilight of its existence after 400 years of continuous rule. People who felt unease with the corrupt government launched a large-scale revolt under the self-proclaimed Grand Master Zheng Jiang. In response, the Han Dynasty sent orders to every province to raise an army and deal with the situation. When he heard this, Guan Yu, driven by outrage against these traitors, joined as a volunteer. Little did he know that doing so was about to change his life forever. Finally starting at Yellow Turban Rebellion. Hmm? You expect us to fight at the side of green recruits? To be perfectly frank with you, we never expected this many volunteers to respond to our call. Because of that, we are honored to have been chosen to meet the enemy on the front lines of battle. What do you mean we're honored? We might as well go and commit suicide. You can get killed fighting on the front lines. What does that matter? Our purpose remains the same. We will use all our skill to stop this uprising. We require a leader. One that would be an inspiration to the people. One worthy of our loyalty. Apparently Guan Yu never liked to color green. Who knew? He's really in part of the wrong force. I have brought Master Guan Yu and Master Zheng Fei. Welcome to our force. I am Liu Bei, a direct descendant of Liu Shang, King of Zhongshan, the Imperial Han has asked us to fight against the rebels. Together, we will answer that call. The Yubei just opens every conversation bragging about his heritage, apparently. Go the Broad Bridge in five minutes to beat Zhang Liao and Zhang Mencheng. Stop the dust in 15 minutes. Uh, win in 20 minutes with Huang Fu Song and Zhu Jun in the Yellow Turban main camp. What a weirdly specific one. Isn't that, uh, Yuan Chao's guy? Weird. Oh yeah, I love Zhang Chao's hair in this game. Look at it. It is spectacular. Where does his hair head begin and his beard hair begin? I cannot tell. What a weapon do I have for you? Grimusa, concentration, balance. That's okay, I guess. Honestly, this one seems better already. Eh, that one's got flash. Yeah, using that one. Well, way less damage, though. Eh, I'll use, I'll use this one, just because that's higher damage. Although Flash will probably be more useful. I'll use... Higher number, let's go. <laughs> I didn't expect that to be the hardest choice of the stream, but apparently it was. That's not the right force, is it? Nah, there we go. Oh, thank you, Galen Flores, for the $10. Yeah, I'm glad you're able to get to stream on time, too. 
Zhang Zhao must be punished for causing this rebellion. One force go east, the other west. We will catch the enemy between us. So, you are next. I'll crush you. I like how his square grab, like, leads the enemy with him. See what his triangle grab is when he gets back up. <laughs> Slings him off screen. That's, that's pretty great. Now we gotta build up his rainbow to see the rest of his moveset. Guan <laughs> Yu does not look like the type of character that can dodge roll. This is an important game for our cause. <laughs> yes, this one random base. So important. Right, the drawbridge is over here. I think breaking that down mostly just, like, allows your allies to advance more easily. The bridge is down. Now, all the forces advance over the bridge. I do love just flinging them off screen. Is this an ointment? It is! Excellent! Alright, see his new set. Triangle attacks. A bunch of horizontal swings. Old triangle. A horizontal swing with a shockwave. Oh, let's see a square string. Basically what you would expect. Uh, jump attack. I do like that it shoots a shockwave forward. Uh, a couple of air attacks do that. I think this is the first one we've seen that does it, though. Yeah, it's a very simple, like... Move set, animation wise, but it's very effective. Look, it is the great sage, Master Zheng Zhao himself. Forward! The time has come for us to build a new world! I do love how they always try to make the sorcerers for the old turbans just sound funny. They may have stopped that with Dynasty Warriors 7. I don't remember. Gone. All right, I forgot about the dashing attacks. Let's see. Dashing square. And dashing triangle. Yeah, basically what you would expect. We can advance through this trickery. All of these tricks have a source. There should be some kind of altar in their base. Oh yeah, there's some wind blowing over here. Because of that cutscene that happened. And as a result... You're not getting up there. Maybe there's some method you can use that will allow you to like push past it, but uh, normally you're not getting up there. It 
<laughs> Look at the two little peasants just trying to help. This song is very good. I believe someone already said it in the chat. This is an important day for our cause. Oh, I can get up there if I... <laughs> if I position my analog stick perfectly, it gets to win. But it'll take 50 minutes. <laughs> okay. You know what, let me go and try that. <laughs> Captain Jesus Christ. <laughs> they think to stop our progress with fire. Find out where the flames are coming from and stop them. I have come for your head. I claim another victory in the name Can of Can I actually destroy friend. these flaming tiger statues? Nah. They're mildly annoying, however. Honestly, they just make fighting the officer annoying more than anything. Use that tone if another one just dropped here. They dropped my horse. Now is the time to attack. Everybody to battle. Yeah, I still got plenty of time to stop the whirlwind. This first stage is pretty generous with the time limit. Can I ride the statue? <laughs> I'm pretty sure no. Oh yeah, Zheng Bao actually uses the staff moveset. I believe uh, Zheng Biao also does that. And that's a deadlock attack. You fools! Your time is finished! You see before you the new age of the yellow turbans. I do like how the left side pretty much takes care of itself. Like you don't have to clear the entire map on your own. And there's one enemy officer like down south that is just fighting in a base. He's been there forever. I do it better myself. Now, I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Well, Guan Yu's running speed is really slow. Yeah, let's get that horse over here. Fight me now. Damn it. By demolishing the enemy's camp, we'll crush their spirits as well. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. I'm just curious, who's down there accomplishing nothing? Anshian, you you go, champ. I have faith in you. You'll maybe take the base over eventually. Do not falter. It is merely an illusion. We can cut down the castle. All faith. All right, the invisible, uh, the phantom enemies in this are weird. They're just like dust clouds, but if you attack them, they explode. I'm not even sure that really 
classifies as a phantom soldier. Definitely more annoying to fight, though. I believe that staff moveset is only used by Jane Zhao, Peng Tong, and Jane Zhao's brothers here. Oh wow, Han Xian, you poor son of a bitch. He couldn't even take over a single base. Dan Leong had a ton of help. Eh, I should've brought the flash weapon. It's, you attack enemies with, like, massive health so often, like... Flash is, like, just guaranteed to proc, essentially. We have stopped all their so-called magic. Only their leader, Zhang Zhao, is left. Troops! Forward. Right, now I need to win with Huang Kui Song and Zhu Jin inside the base. Where are they? They're both inside the base. Excellent. Hello, the Aoha. Not used to seeing you on the enemy's side. At least not as a Shu character. wrong, Master Liu? This victory. We're only treating the symptoms, not the illness. We are fighting a war against misguided peasants. That will not cure this world of chaos. Tell me then, what is your solution? What would your duty lead you to fight against? Eh, <laughs> duty. I'd begin at its very core. It is corruption that ruins the land, a blight that harms the people. I see. It would please me greatly if I were allowed to help you in this endeavor. A sword of your noble purpose. You don't use a sword. Oh, to have even one man such as yourself is worth a thousand. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. I'll join in with your cause as well. Then here, in this place, let us swear an oath of brotherhood. That we shall live and fight and die as one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go for the massive attack up down there. And I guess all the tiny ones, too.
actually wasn't sure if I picked Master Difficulty or not, because I felt the last stage was, like, particularly easy. Even after the Yellow Turban Rebellion was suppressed, peace did not return to the land. The eunuchs surrounding the Emperor carried on their corrupting ways, and a plot was hatched to eliminate them. Taking advantage of the disorder, Dong Zhuo was able to seize power, and the realm fell further into confusion. In response to Dong Zhuo's tyranny, Yuan Shao gave an impassioned speech, calling for the formation of an army to pull down the tyrant. Hoping to return peace to the Imperial Court, Yu Bei, who had become Guan Yu's sworn brother, determined to enter the war. Following his brother, Guan Yu left for Hulao Gate along with Zhang Fei. As the leader of this coalition, I, the Honorable Yuan Shao, offer our heartfelt thanks for all the aid that you have given us. Look at those fancy ass cups. A pack of hyenas steeped in pride and ambition. There is no need to even talk with them to see that. You say what you think. A very dangerous tendency when you're far from home. In general, mediocre people tend to strive for mediocre goals. Is that not right, Master Guan Yu? And how is it that you know my name? As you are so adept at recognizing mediocrity, I pride myself on being able to recognize those of true worth. Will you not sit down for a moment? You're not in a hurry to leave, I hope. I would be honored if you shared a cup with me. I regret I cannot. Thank you. I have duties which were entrusted to me, and I must see to them. A man of great depth and character. I believe great things are in store for Master Cao Cao. I like we just got stage music for this cutscene. And it was just for them talking about drinking together. A bit early, let's go ahead and see what Guan Yu's alternate outfit is. While I happen to remember it. Uh, what post? Gate, Lubu. I can't remember if your, uh... If your allied units change depending on which story mode you're in. I'm pretty sure it doesn't for yellow turbans. Like, I think if you play as Zhou Yu, he'll get soon say with them. We shall destroy the traitor and his ilk. Forward! It is up to us to restore order to the Han! Okay, I was told there were some hardcore drugs over here. Excellent. Oh, God. All right, let's go. Yeah, now I owe Captain a hundred dollars worth of bad time. They do have a tendency to leave those ointments, like, at the beginning of the stage. It's just you gotta know where to look. It is nice that they had the foresight to, uh, foresight to do that. So I quite like this outfit for uh for Guan Yu. I like the white. And hey, his uh his default outfit had green on it, so now we got rid of that awful color he didn't like. Another victory in the name of my brother. 
Duel me. I don't, alright, fuck you. Oh, now you want to. Well, it's too late now. I claim another victory Bye. In the name of my I like how he wanted to duel when he had like 5% of HP left. An ally. Very good. I shall remember your effort. I think I'm going to try to take both the watchtower this time. How much time did they give you? Oh, 10 minutes, I had plenty of time. <laughs> Have I played with any of the generic movesets? At some point or another, yes. Uh, I was actually planning, whenever I stream Dynasty Warrior 6 Empires, I'll just play all the characters, uh, all the movesets I didn't play before. So, like, I'll play as Yuan Chao and Soon Sei and Xiao Kao and characters like that. The ones that don't have Muso modes. Nothing to say to Zhang Liao. Who am I dueling here? We shall meet in battle again. No one, alright. The, the game is really taking too long with triggering the duels. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Well done. I couldn't do it better myself. That'll be good to have before fighting Lubu. Uh, the reason I don't want to play the, uh, the other characters in the base Dynasty Warrior Suits game is because, aside from the Musou officers, I don't have anyone else leveled up, and I would really rather not have to level up everyone on my own time. If I play them at level 1, you're not seeing their full moveset, and that's just disappointing for everyone, including me. Whereas Empires, it's very easy to get access to someone's full moveset. One you is all about those gains. <laughs> Undefeated or scrat, duel me. <laughs> I mean, I would, but what would be the point? You're undefeated. Everybody must that means I can't beat you. Oh shit, Ho Ching is breaking through. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Let's go, let's go. That was close. Thank you for aiding us. Fight me now. 
Kung Rong, you have no excuse for sucking against one enemy officer. Even had Kung Zan next to you. They are driving us back. However, our fighting spirit shall carry the day. This is an important game for our cause. True to your reputation, such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Sure, a horse I will definitely the discard. The last bastion of defense of the Imperial Court. Never imagined I would fight to destroy it. However, we cannot save the Han if we shirk from this duty. Loyal people of the Han, let us fight! Chandler. <laughs> He's breaking through. Close the blast doors. <laughs> oh shit, there he is. You made it. I'm afraid I must rely on your strength. I don't... I think you're exaggerating soon, Jao. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this kind of what actually happened? <laughs> like, uh, Soon Jian was the one that actually took out Hua Shong, but Guan Yu always gets the credit for it. <laughs> Only this time it was Ho Ching. Good job, brother. You can't beat me, though. You know, I didn't pay attention. Did uh, Zheng Fei call Guan Yu his brother in the first stage? Before they were officially brothers? We have a ladder set up now. Even the defense captain just ignore you. The other side always gets ladder set up earlier. But the AI just does better when you're not there. Rude. Ow. That one bit of hit to standing in front of the ballistas and just tanking the shots head on. Is that it prevents it from hitting your siege weapons down there. So technically you're making the siege go better if you, you know, tank a ballista shot to the face. Ow. Kinda not worth it though. Oh, good job, team. Oh, 
Oh, you're just coming at me, huh? All right. I was hoping to deal with Hoochie here before then, but... You say to not choose the fight one more time, I'm choosing the fight. Oh, hey, Diao Chan, let's deal with her first. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> Yao Chan died before Wang Yun. Wow. Bye. Easy. How can this be? Lose to one like you. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Meanwhile, Sato's over there just like, can someone help? I can see nobody he's fighting. Now is the time. Through the gate! You have defeated the moon. Well done. It's convenient I left my horse over here. Claim another victory in the name of my brother. <laughs> yes, good work. I will repay your efforts by working as hard myself. Let's go! Let's go. 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 let All right, guess I'm not doing the grab. See that I just defeated Lubu. Oh, I should, uh, next time I do this, uh, ignore Lubu entirely. And then just go after Don Dro. Because I think Don Dro has a line where he'll ask Lubu to come back and help him. And then I can fight him at the main camp. Didn't even mean to kill Dolan with that attack. That was just collateral damage. Don't show his wife just quoting that's where it's for Don Dro. <laughs> That's another big attack up. I'll take that. Raises your horse's abilities to their fullest. Nullifies lightning attacks. How oddly specific. Movement speed temporarily increased while running. It's okay, I guess. Uh, I'll work my way up towards this big attack up over there. <laughs> and sure, I guess... One you is now immune to lightning. After Dong Zhuo was defeated at Hulao Gate, the governors began to compete amongst each other for power. 
Liu Bei and his sworn brothers Guan Yu and Zhang Fei, lacking a base of their own, found themselves the guests of Cao Cao after much wandering. It just so happened that at the time, Yuan Shu was attempting to declare himself emperor. Incredulous at this turn of events, Liu Bei borrowed some horses from Cao Cao in order to punish Yuan Shu. In exchange, Guan Yu remained as a guest of Cao Cao and stayed in Shu Chang apart from Liu Bei. I really forgot he had Guan Du. I request that you stay by my side a little longer, Guan Yu. My lord, you have chosen to follow the path of principle. Such a pathway is filled with great honor. For me, the path of my own duty is extremely clear. <laughs> it's duty. to be loyal. Nothing can part me from my brothers. So, you feel the individual is greater than the path? I swore a sacred oath with these men, and all my honor commands that I go to them. But I do not leave you so quickly, my lord. I offer you my heart and strength for your battle at Guandu. He, too, cares about the principles we fight for. I know that is true. But I understand why he must leave. Salto, he hadn't fully left yet. <laughs> he was still, he was still within earshot. I was gonna play away Musa mode next. I guess I need to pick one that doesn't have Guan Guan Du, which uh, might be CBE. I think everyone else does. I guess, I guess I'll try and, like, properly defend both bases this time. Impressive force, Yuan Shao. I have both numbers and talent. I need to plan well to win this conflict. The larger the beast, the more it needs to be. Wish I knew where, uh, well. hardcore drugs were, but I don't really have time to go and look for them. However, we must not act with haste. Let us defend Bai Ma and Yanji for the time being, and wait for a moment. My lord! Is that set to a base? I doubt it. Oh, it is! Awesome! Alright, cool. We must protect it at all costs. It'll make this first part a lot easier. Down you one time, and then go over to the other side. So, you are next. I'll crush First time I used a horse move, so it is nothing special. Word from our scouts. It looks like there are enemy reinforcements approaching. No, I don't have time to duel you guys. Not fighting you with increased stats right now. Oh, 
Great! Set the base on fire. That is exactly what I needed. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. One of the big ones. I'd like to get rid of some of these bannermen before they start buffing officers. Damn you guys. Man, the reinforcements just got around. <laughs> Completely subverted, having to take Bai Ma Yan Jin, and they're already seizing the castle. Even if you defend Bai Ma Yan Jin, Yuan Zhao still poses a threat. What the fuck? Help would be really good. That's a big, nice health thing over there. Good. Thank you, Flash. Thanks, out so. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. All right, now let's go over to the other base. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. Hopefully Guandu Castle won't fall during the process of saving the two forward bases. He already ordered them to pull back. Yeah, I think Bai Ma is technically safe. Oh wait, Yan Liang is- ah, fuck. Didn't see him over there. And it is hard to save these two bases. That amounted to a lot of effort for no reason. I guess technically he doesn't. Because he doesn't have Guan Yu as much as he wants to. Well, at least I took it right back. I hope it falls. Let Sao Tao die. <laughs> what do you guys want to have happen here?
may have to either just play on a lower difficulty or uh, have a second player to protect both those damn bases. Or play with the character that's actually max level, maybe. Making these damn rams. I realize it's kind of Yuan Chao's thing, but come on. Wow, the NPCs on the right just repulsed uh, the enemy on that side. All on their own. I like seeing your allies actively helping you. Scouts have reported in. The rear enemy forces have moved up. The guard on Wu Chao has weakened. It's Yuan Chao's camp. Advance through the western woods and hit the camp from the side. <laughs> People tell me to play on Chaos. I'm not doing that. No. If these were max level characters, sure, but they're like level 25 or around there. And I start the story. And I still get killed on Master, so. Nah. I'd rather not have the stream be 50% me reloading. Like Shao Doon also moves with Zhang Liao to go take Wu Chao. I didn't realize that the last time I played this stage because I was playing as Shao Doon. Chaos is easier because there's less letters in it than Master. Well, I can't fault that logic. Captain, you, you need to stop talking. <laughs> Just the second thing he said after that. <laughs> Don't ruin your day by defeating Yuan Chao. Well, yeah, that's gonna happen. I shall face you. Come, let us fight. I want to see if you'll defect. Get the better of you, Wan Shao. Take Wan Shao and cut off their supplies. Uh, reports from the scouts. Enemy reinforcements are headed this way. A cavalry! Uh, Don't move! Uh, the enemy wants us to panic. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Uh, I must defeat you. My youth demands it. These duels always come too late.
What's that? You say that every bit of our supplies are gone, all put to the torch? Uh, <laughs> hmm. I praised Cao Cao's strategy. It was very clever of him. However, Cao Cao has underestimated the Yuan family fortitude. Chao has fallen. Let us see how long they can last without food. Now is our chance to defeat Yuan Chao. Forward! I do like that Wu Chao is actually burning like the base you're in. Ah, Yuan Chao's army is doomed to failure. Perhaps the freedom I seek shall be found with Cao Cao. I was kind of curious if Jinji would just start moving after Wu Chao was taken. It's kind of hard to tell since she's fighting Chao Dun. <laughs> Jinji <laughs> defense and immediately just calls for help. I have to see what that 1,000 KO quote is. Oh wow, Jinji got wrecked. It's not the beat she was in that weird time. I am a true warrior of the three kingdoms. Okay. Basic. Oh, Zheng He struggled immediately because he was—he defected right next to Yuan Chao. The enemy is stronger than I anticipated. You're fine. Wait, who? Who broke off from him? Okay, I thought that said Liu Biao, <laughs> and I was like, why is he under? He says that and then Joe Shu duels me. Do show. Fuck off, Lieutenant, you cheating son of a bitch. Do not like Lieutenant. How about a fair duel, maybe? I say is I just wail at the at the audience. Ah, cheeky son of a bitch grabbed me. <laughs> and he just runs off. Ah, was not expecting him to have true speed activated. I claim another victory in the name of my. Oh, I guess I guess the duel's over. Okay.
more attack. Southern Cat. It's something about looking at a horse and calling it a cat. Believing his participation in the fighting in Guandu fulfilled his duty to Cao Cao, Guan Yu rushed to the side of Liu Bei. The three sworn brothers, their spirits lifted by their reunion, avoided Cao Cao's pursuers and joined Sun Quan at his base in Jiangdong. Meanwhile, Cao Cao raised a navy and declared war on Sun Quan, intending to subdue the Southland. In response, Sun Quan joined Liu Bei and went on the offensive. There to support Liu Bei, Guan Yu faced the same men he had once fought alongside as allies while he was with Cao Cao. Guan Yu, share your thoughts with me. From what you have seen of him, what kind of man is Cao Cao? He's deep, intelligent, strong. And some... He has very strong principles. He is worthy of being called a hero and is a man who will fight for his dream. A fine ass. He judges every man by his abilities, nothing more. He's fair, yet his feelings don't sway him. Hence, he has no caring for the people. He doesn't no wear green. Caring for the people? Strange. I fear I could not share the land with such a man. It is truly a shame. Well, Guan Yu, you're back. It is good to see you again. I wield my blade for the benefit of all. It is my duty to clear this land of chaos. Yeah, <laughs> duty. Let us go forward, my brother. We'll teach those who have chosen to stray from the path. I don't actually like that scene, seeing uh, Guan Yu and Liu Bei just like training together. That's something you don't see very often. This may in fact be the only time. The Oh yeah, it's our first time doing GB as Guan Yu. That's not who I would have expected our first GB would be as. Long guy succeeds in burning top south ships. Take the west and central barge in 10 minutes. None of your units withdraw. These there are a fair few men of like shoe, uh, shoe officers at GB at this time. It's not like just Juga Leong. Oh yeah, I think Zheng He goes into hyper mode if you actually succeed in the fire attack. Drive off Wei's boats. Show you. I leave command of the army to you. It is almost time. We shall begin preparations at the altar. We shall prepare the fight. Huang Dai, head for the boats. I have come for your head. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Oh, yeah, the boats actually move around in this. The boats will move when they hear this god. Then. Yeah, basically, if you hit the guns on these, like Joe said, will move. But more importantly, that'll block off the enemy's like path towards you, or towards your allies. They don't have to babysit them as much. The time has come. The land has been prepared. And now I will start the prayer to call the winds. The situation is dire. 
believe aside from the first time, they don't actually move the, uh, the boats any, the way forces don't. Of course, riding the boat the entire way back can be sort of annoying, so it's nice you can jump to the water and, like, take your own shortcut. Yeah, because you can ride your horse a lot faster than the boat can move. Swift attack, uh, one use, special attack, or special buff, really, actually fills out his Rimbu gauge, which is nice. It's like the least visually impressive of the special attacks, but it's pretty good. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Oh, never anything less from Guan Yu. I will try to keep up. Who is the weakest in Dynasty Warrior 6? Uh, I don't know. I've always heard Yan Wei was low tier. Uh, but he always felt fine whenever I played him. Because we'll find out whenever I actually play him again. Scream. Xu Huang has lines with Guan Yu, but not Zhang Liao. All right. Especially weird to hear like special lines for characters An when we haven't beat. seen any interaction between them in the stories. To my tactics to keep up. I don't think you can do this on the PS2 version. Like just jump to the water and take shortcuts. Play as Yuko the Young class. Uh, no, I'm gonna be playing as a PS2 character class. It'll probably be Yui Ying class. Actually, I'll be starting with Shu. I'll be ending with Wu, so it'll probably be either Ling Tong or who's the other Wu character that got a new move set? I honestly cannot remember. I should see. Okay. Yeah, I definitely like Tai Chi Tzu the least in six than any other game. Have we even seen Tai Chi Tzu yet? He, he's got a really terrible voice actor in this game. I'm going now. This will be the greatest feat of my life. Here just in time to save this place. This is all that I can do. The rest I will need more. Huh? 
like how Jugulion just decides to leave. All right, come on, let's duel. <laughs> You're currently dueling me. You really do not need to pursue me. I <laughs> just toss him in. <laughs> I tossed him out of the duel. Yeah, you notice how I left uh, one boat still connected the way, so enemies are pouring in from that area. Two minutes left to take those two bases. Let's see if I can manage it. This ought to help. You think that just having a lot of boats is going to save you? Take this! And a chance fighting against Wu, especially on the water. I don't think anyone heard you, Huang guy. That's not how this works, Shang Hei, but good that you're inspired. Okay, I think I still got enough time. own base on fire when it's already on fire. Can you imagine if you're South Sao fighting at Chibi and one of your own forces set your boat on fire? Also, we just kind of skipped the whole Peng Tong thing, didn't we? It is especially weird to see considering we're playing as Shu. The other, the other condition. All oh, right, fire attack. Okay, yeah. So now just don't fuck up. How to reach that guy? The map made it look like this one officer was closer than he actually is. Let's go. 
I like that. It sounds like we'll just say, all right, fuck this place, we're gone. Time out. Ejected. I don't even want your ESP. You believe your wits are a match for mine? Yeah. Oh, you, you. This is gonna be uncalled for. <laughs> All right, I guess you get to live. We can make a difference here. Him falling in there was amusing. Shut up. The situation is dire. You are everything I imagine. I shall give this victory to you. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Chow Chow's forces have pulled back. Like Raise the call for victory. We have won. I'll take a third pouch. I guess I'll get these attack up. The net so I can get that life up. Say that you will continue on and go to Yi. That is the place where brother can stand and grow. Compi, you will come with me. Guan Yu! I know you must head west. Good luck on your journey. My son and I will stay. We will make it our duty to guard Jing for you. I have one of those now, a son. I see. Both Wei and Wu would want to own it. It's right on Yi's doorstep. My lord! I wish you success in capturing Yi. May we have the privilege of guarding your back? Brother, you have just made your way back to us. Come now. It is not as if this is the last day we will meet. If we're playing his story, be aesthetically correct. Meeting defeat before the mighty Guan Yu and the combined forces of Liu Bei and Sun Quan, 
Cao Cao retreated to his capital of Xuchang. Afterwards, Liu Bei used Jing province as a foothold to conquer Yi province, and the land entered the era of the three kingdoms of Wu, Wei, and Shu. Guan Yu chose to remain in Jing province and bolster its defenses against Wei and Wu. Then word came from Wu that Cao Cao was concentrating his forces on Jing province, thinking to deal with this himself and protect Liu Bei. Guan Yu rushed to Fan Castle. Father, are you sure our lord won't be angry? We weren't ordered to attack Fawn Castle. I've no time for that. This situation must be taken care of now. Brother must move to capture Han Zhang soon. Before you reap the harvest, you must cut the weeds. Makes sense. We must keep Fawn Castle from being a threat, but we'd need Chengdu to give us their help. So our lord couldn't move on Han Zhang. That means we'll have to spend more time on our conquest. Ugh. Sometimes the best way to defend is to attack. Ah, the enemy has moved quicker than us. My son Ping, we will become like great dragons. We will blow away the dark clouds that threaten this land. Right, father. <laughs> that looks like an awkward stance. I guess it might be good for thrusting. Succeed in flooding the castle. One ping does not withdraw. Aren't those a jet? Those pretty much hand in hand. Uh, take all the fawn castle bases in 10 minutes. Is, is Guan Yu the only one that has this, this stage on the shoe side? He might be. If I didn't approach them, they would have stayed on my side. And ironically, they were fighting Yu Jin, the other traitor. <laughs> I like how we pulled Chu Huang away from the castle.
disaster. I have no excuse for trouble in this rabble. I really hope, hope I don't have to defeat that one general in the top left over there. Thanks, Minda. I like how Wu is actually defending the castle. That's the signal Father spoke of. The time is now. Uh, am I going to play free mode as other non muso mode characters? I have no intention to. Because I would have to level them up, and I really don't want to do that. I'm just going to play them in, uh, Dungeon Warrior 6 Empires whenever I stream that. Look! The big! They've cut through it! What happens if you play as one ping gear? Good question. And there goes the Wu. They were defending the gate. The waters have weakened the castle's defenses. Now is our chance to rush the castle. Weakened? More like it flew straight through them. Hmm. Using water to gain an advantage. I applaud you, Guan Yu. That is as far as you go. Let's go, now! There are a few of these stages that actually be interested to see what happens if you play a certain character. Like this one, if you play as one thing, is one of them. Maybe we can make a video out of that. Just play a bunch of uh, non muso mode characters and. See what happens when you do stuff uh, that they normally do in stages. This is an important game for our cause. At most, you'll probably just hear like some different lines, if that. Take no prisoners. One beans could be just as simple as like a battle message showing up and saying, "Hey, go down to this designated location." Just wait for the others before we can proceed. Oh yeah, someone asked if Guan Ping's voice actor is also the voice of the, uh, generic messengers. Uh, yes, it is. Aha! Made it through. Difficult 
this play will force the morale of our troops. I claim another victory in the name of my... I do like that they had more Wu officers, like, at the top of, uh, Fawn Castle. So if you didn't even approach it, you would still say they were defending the interior. I didn't think CBE would be part of the reinforcement. So, you are next. He's here at the start when you play a play, Tarwu. Game is really awkward here again. Wait for Lucian to get up here. Oh, Guan Ching is a commander. Weird. It's like he's struggling against CBE. We'll be different next time. What an opponent. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. what we thought about Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires. I have not played it, so I can't really say anything for sure, but I dislike Dynasty Warriors 9 so much, I have no intention of playing 9 Empires. Imminent fucking rocks. They're kind of taking too long. Yeah, if it's Lu Ming, he might have lines with Guan Yu, though. They just annihilated Manchong. Everybody, we must build some momentum. Charge the enemy. We are in the most difficult spot. Sauron out here fighting. Not inside the main camp. The fate of my troops lies in my hands. I cannot fail. I have come for your hands. It's not expecting Joe Tai to show up. Especially wasn't expecting him to have a unique line. Where the hell is Lu Ming? 
They get washed away in the flood and I don't even realize. They wouldn't have just left him defending the gate, right? Lu Ming died on the way to get here. Oh, this is gonna be a fun fight now, isn't it? Come on! I shall fight. What's going on here? It doesn't matter. I'll just cut down anybody that gets in my way. At least Gan Ning appeared inside the castle. I feel like the game really expects you to take longer in this stage. Pick up a tome while it's like active. I wouldn't have to wait for it to expire. I don't know why I bother picking it up. I'm not gonna use all three of these things. There has to be at least one more reinforcement, right? Like Looming has to show up. Gotta be the last one. Oh, hello, you Lieutenant. Don't worry. I shall be there soon. Okay, neat. I'm assuming Lu Ming, like, rushes straight for Guan Yu, so Guan Ping's AI is set to go defend him if that happens. Hardly matters when you're the player, though. Fucking ignore me, Lu Ming. I'm your target. Come on. Why am I chasing you? I just send Mahjong off the middle of nowhere. Master Guan Yu, I have come for your head. <laughs> he went into hyper mode just from fighting Guan Yu. All right, let, let's take this somewhere else. surprised he didn't die there. Alright, let's go finally take out Zaurun.
I mean, Mog One Ping is just wasting all this time just trying to get to me. faster if I run down to center. I'm glad I have this horse with the Rimbu Gate. A Rimbu would have absolutely bottomed out with all the running around they had to do here. So I guess the three tones I'm holding on to could have rectified that. Sarin's acting now, got worse in Dynasty Warrior 6 for some reason. Like, his retreat line was very bland compared to, like, honestly, the exact same retreat line he's had in previous games. Favorite guys in Shu Wu and Wei. Uh, in Shu, I'm pretty partial to Fa Jing and Ma Chao. In Wu, I like Gan Ning uh, pre Dynasty Warrior 6. And I guess raising horse ability sounds neat. Wei, uh, CBE if you count them. <laughs> it depends on what game if uh, CBE is still way or not. I'm just glad that what I feared did not come to pass. But brother, there was no need for you to face this alone. I hope that you do not think that you cannot call on me. Brother, do you remember the oath that we swore that day? Of course, we swore that we would live, fight, and even die together. Yes, and no matter what kind of trouble might still face us, we must honor that oath. And then we just forget about Wu. fought a difficult battle against both Wei and Wu, leaving nearly all of Jing province under the control of Shu. Afterwards, Wei and Wu resumed hostility towards one another, with the Wei army invading Jianye from Hengfei, delivering a devastating blow to Wu. And I wish we got to play that Jianye battle. <laughs> the three-way balance collapsed, leaving Liu Bei and Cao Cao as the only remaining powers in the land. Liu Bei recalled Guan Yu, 
and led his forces to the plains of Wuzhang in a bid to decide the final victim. Sensing a chance to end the chaos, Guan Yu burnished his blade one last time. We are nearing the end. Soon, brother. Just one more battle, and then we will realize your dream. Yeah. From beating up on yellow turban bandits to this. Who'd have guessed, huh? Who knew back then that I would ever be calling you my friend? Or should I say my brother? Oh, you looked like a weakling then. <laughs> I did not look weak, Shang Fei. You! Didn't you think so as well? No. Even then I believed in Liu Bei and his vision, and that he'd be able to lead us. We have journeyed far. <laughs> Indeed we have! Guan Yu. Zhang Fei, we fight and live to create a new world. Uh, someone asked if Orochi appears in these Strike Force games. Uh, he does, but he doesn't have like any story presence. He's just a boss fight for like one, maybe two stages. Beat 15 or more enemy units in 25 minutes. That's pretty much a given. Wei Yan does not withdraw. Okay. Secure 16 or more enemy bases in 10 minutes. That's also not really hard to do. It's, it's also kind of misleading. You're not really securing enemy bases. It, I'm pretty sure it counts the bases you have. I got a new weapon I want to try. Uh, White Dragon. It has more attack, and it's faster. And Rimbu Spirit is nice. And of course it has Flash. Wow, we barely have any allies. It is rare to see someone with just, like, a straight up arrow for morale. I actually didn't recall that being in the game. I guess that means there's a straight down arrow as well. Pursue them too far. Let us watch and see what they do. Enemy! <laughs> Way on just like immediately. No! You must not go off alone. I knew it. I knew you would rebel against us. Hey, Zhang Fei. I don't, I don't think Zhang Fei is normally at the Wuzhang Plains. I think this is just because you're playing uh, Guan Yu's story. And your defense would get buffed, wouldn't it? Alright, let's see about saving Wei on. Good job, brother. Uh, what would be the fastest way to him? Probably go rank, going back, honestly. Wow, they are just <laughs> swarming way on. I would get to see Xiao Bai be a badass with a weapon he doesn't actually use in game. I sincerely doubt Wang Ping uses that sword either. That's, that's like a strategist sword. 
and a ruler sword. We got this version of Shaopa. Like that version, the Dice Warrior sits generic, <laughs> just became playable. Pull back. Must regroup. Unfortunately, it doesn't count as an ambush on enemies if they're already engaged in battle. That's why none of the way officers down here were surprised in the slightest. Free, back off. He's against speed sight weapon. My range has decreased somewhat. My attack speed has gone up a lot. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Got way on has a club move set in this game. Yeah, the club moveset is probably like the least fun moveset in this game. It's just boring. I have come for your head. Like how he defeated the guard captain and that didn't take over the base because these enemy officers happened to enter it right just the right time. That's a second guard captain. It's weird. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. We dueling? Alright. Oh, you're making me duel, Lieutenant. Boring. Well, you better be. At least you didn't do something crazy like actually defect in the final battle, right? That would be nuts. when you raise a base's morale. Just as I planned. Wei Yan, it is time. You and our reinforcements must take the enemy camp. There are a lot of people over here, including the behemoth that is Quo High. I need to deal with him now. Alright, the biggest threat has been taken care of.
open the door right now. I'm too low health. I'm gonna save. It's a bit early for the one save I have, but... I don't want to run off for health and I don't want to risk dying. So you're also here. Everyone rush into this one fortress. I another victory in the name of my Really hoping one of those uh, health items will respawn over here. Why is it always just a meat bun? The smallest amount of health it could possibly give me. Three times it's been that. Why is the base on fire now? Who did this? I already blow half health, so it hardly matters. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Yeah. Zhang Lu, what an asshole. You will carry our honor across the land. Meanwhile, the turkey was just sitting over here waiting for consumption. Your Rimbu is like so fast when you have a skill weapon equipped. Hey, I don't think I'm going to secure 16 bases within the next 36 seconds. <laughs> Guan Yu is supposed to be dead, so they were trying to correct the time paradox. You know what? Fair enough. Can't fault them for that. Oh, and now it gives a medium-sized heal. I claim another victory in the name of my Didn't even mean to kill Jinglu there. Also, is that a different Jinglu, or did Jinglu just become like a, a way officer somehow? then. The juggernauts are just hanging out. I claim another victory in the name of my juggernauts do not abide by, like, A true the turns of the duel. They'll just attack no matter what. This is an important game for our cause. My lord, more enemy troops are approaching. 
Now is the time to attack. Everybody to battle. You can't just leave a base unmanned. Fortify the defenses of any that are in danger of falling. And yeah, one ping uses the pike, I just saw it there. I knew he definitely didn't use the sword he had in that cutscene. Man, they're doing a pretty good job of, like, fighting their way to the main camp. I like how both sides are close to defeating the other. Like, we took their main camp and they're already fighting on ours. The situation is dire. Even with my strategies, victory here may prove impossible. About time. I think He's someone in the chat asked for the best Dynasty Warriors. Uh, objectively, I would say Dynasty Warriors 8. For, like, my personal preference, with, like, a shit ton of nostalgia factoring in, Dynasty Warriors 4. Also, nice breaking the fourth wall there, way on. Look, I don't want to duel lieutenants. That's boring. not holding up very well here. You can't just leave a base on man. Fortify the defenses of any that are in danger of falling. Uh, yeah, Lubu's story in Dynasty Warriors 8 is great. <laughs> the way main camp has fallen to the way forces. That's a weird notification to see. Yeah, give me a second here. Just keep hitting me from behind. This is why I fucking hate lieutenants. Because they're always there to be assholes. And not give you anything of value when you actually defeat them. One more officer over there. And then I can finally head towards the enemy main camp.
always a fucking lieutenant. This is an important game for our cause. Now is the time to attack. Everybody to battle. Jang phase next. I'm coming, brother. But I'm gonna stop and eat first. When you just eat an entire turkey before going to save his brother. Wade still has like a half a morale bar. How many are still alive in there? It's only a few, it's just South Sail has such massive morale and so many troops. South South collateral damage. So play your feet, destroy my ambition. <laughs> Duty. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Friends, thank you. It has been a long and difficult road, but the chaos has ah! fled. Now let us walk in a new and peaceful age. I have merely fulfilled my obligation to my lord. May as well complete this little square over here. Oops. I guess it doesn't really matter if I save or not, considering I already won. to become the Grand General and take control over all the armies of the land. And yet, brother, we have won peace. There is no more need for armies or fighting. Still yet, the proud, bold figure of a true warrior will act like a deterrent to some. The sight of Guan Yu carrying the Blue Dragon will help keep the world a place of peace without chaos and war. By the way, why is Brother, it green? That is part of the dream. Then I, Guan Yu, do agree to accept this duty 
that you have laid on me. Yeah, <laughs> duty. For the peace and prosperity of my brother's land, I will do all I can to show the people the true meaning of duty. Because duty can mean poop. <laughs> Evaluation is a lord of war. That's honestly pretty cool sounding. <laughs> Get most of the Ejetsos done, just Wu Jang playing. Yeah. Kinda of difficult to get all the Ejetsos done in that. That does morale, it's too great. <laughs> Where the fuck is Yang Fei? Hey, he wasn't important enough. <laughs> One, you just killed the cameraman. Xiao <laughs> Yun is just second choice for Grand General before Guan Yu. I think you mean after, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be playing Simi Yi next. Mostly because we already played Guan Du as Guan Yu. So I want to play a Wei character that doesn't have that stage, and I think it's only Simi Yi that doesn't. Dion, why are we breaking your house? All right, well, come on then. <laughs> yeah, risk crash. No more going do. <laughs> Just doesn't want that stage anymore. Well, hey, when we get to Zhang Hei, we finally get to play Guan Du on Yuan Shao's side. That's his beginner stage. We still got a while before we get to the PS2 Muso modes. Alright, well, that's it for this stream. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let's see. Might stream tomorrow. I'm not gonna stream Monday because I got stuff to do on Monday. If I don't stream tomorrow, then I'll stream on Tuesday. How about that? Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.